Hey everybody out there, this is Yoli and I just wanted to really get on here and ask you guys a question because I just watched the series of why black men are dating outside their race and I had a couple of things that came to mind which I want to share with people and I would love your comments, your feedback and my major issue here today is the use of inner beauty as a crutch as a crutch, as a crutch, as an excuse. Better word would probably be an excuse. And we have these walls that we place around our inner beauty. Like, oh, there's these walls that keeps everybody out from seeing my inner beauty. Why? I'm not sure. But all I know is there's the physical wall, the excuse that, oh, how I look does not matter because it's what's on the inside that counts. All right, if it's on the inside, if you're really beautiful on the inside, number one, it's going to exude on the outside. There's no way you can feel beautiful on the inside and not want to make yourself look good. And so what we have is a whole bunch of women walking around, no femininity, nails not done, feet not done. And I'm not talking about you got to go to the spa every week. I'm saying just taking care of your body. Hair not done, uh, clothes looking a hot, raggedy mess, just a mess. A hot mess and like I said the excuse is oh it doesn't matter how I look on the outside because what's on the inside that counts that's an excuse and that is a wall that you're putting around yourself to try and block people from seeing your inner beauty because at the end of the day this is a visual world why would you not want to see beautiful on the outside just because you're beautiful on the inside, it doesn't make any sense. It's just an excuse that makes no sense at all. And the second wall would be the emotional wall, which is the attitude, the snappiness, the anger, envy, whatever, competition, whatever you want to call it. It's another wall that we as women, or not me, but other people as women tend to put up and, and then use inner beauty as an excuse. And this is how the excuse sounds. Well, I've been hurt before and I don't trust people. So I'm going to have an attitude and I'm going to be mean and I'm going to be this, that, and that until people get to know me and see my inner beauty. Really? That makes no sense. At all. Like a dude coming up and tapping you on the shoulder and wanting to um, get your number or whatever. Even if he, I'm saying, if he does it respectfully. And you catching an attitude? Why? Why with the response? Why? If a man comes up to you respectfully, there is no need to disrespect him. There's no need to disrespect anybody. Or um, my favorite one. Uh, another woman gives you a compliment and you look at her like it's just a compliment would you accept it would you accept it and just be grateful and and have that inner beauty exude to the outside what happened in your past is not an excuse for having a nasty attitude and all that nasty attitude is a wall that's all it is it's a wall that's blocking people from seeing how beautiful you are on the inside and then you use the inner beauty excuse or crutch to keep that wall up guarded it's not needed <laughs> it's not cute it's not necessary it's just a wall and so what it results in is just people being unhappy, lonely, no friends, or friends that aren't really your real friends, or just unhappiness. And you blame everybody else when the person that needs to be blamed is yourself. You need to stop taking your fingers and pointing at everybody else and start pointing it at yourself. Because really, you're the one who's putting the walls up. And you're the one who's saying, well, why don't I have this, that, and the other? Well, it's because you're not letting your inner beauty exude from the inside out, which is what it needs to do. It needs to exude from the inside out if anybody's ever going to see it or even want to see it. And so if this applies to anybody out there, if you feel like you identify with any of what I just described, then I just have one question for you. Do you know you? Do you really know you? Because those walls that you put up, are preventing you from loving yourself 
Because if you loved yourself and if you loved your inner beauty, you wouldn't try to hide your inner beauty. You just know who deserves to be around you. You would just know when to walk away. You would know what to do and what not to do to keep your mind in check. You wouldn't have an attitude. Your attitude determines how you experience life. You would know that if you have a stank attitude, you're going to experience a stank life. You would know that if you react to people, you're out of control and you just need to be proactive. You would know what it means to be emotionally responsible. You would know what it means to give love to anybody. You would know what it means to just let go and let God. So I really just want people to stop using the excuse of inner beauty. I know it's amazing. I know it's one of the most important types of beauty. I mean, it doesn't fade. It doesn't go away. It is really the only beauty. But who's going to know about your inner beauty if you don't let it exude from the inside out and try and block it with any of the excuses that I mentioned above? So I hope this touched somebody. And if it hurts somebody, then that just means that you have to do some looking in the mirror and see what's going on inside your heart. Have an amazing day.